Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Wednesday, June 28, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A CNN producer is revealing its Russia narrative has little basis. Project Veritas released an undercover video Monday showing producer John Bonifield admitting CNN has no proof for its stories claiming collusion between the Trump administration and Russia. Then why is CNN constantly like Russia this, Russia that? Because it's ratings. Because it's ratings? Our ratings are incredible right now. The White House Deputy Press Secretary remarked yesterday that if the video is accurate, then CNN's methods are a disgrace. But the news outfit is defending its producer, saying, quote, diversity of personal opinion is what makes CNN strong. A Mali archbishop is vowing to attend the Vatican ceremony, making him cardinal, in spite of being investigated for corruption. A Vatican spokesman confirmed Tuesday that Archbishop Jean Zerbo of Bamako plans on showing up to St. Peter's today, where he and four other bishops will be given the red hat. But media have speculated the Pope may not make him cardinal after explosive allegations in May that Zerbo stashed 12 million euros in a Swiss bank account, part of the Swiss League's investigation. Today, the Vatican confirmed it would go ahead with the ceremony as planned. Ireland is gearing up for its biggest pro-life event of the year. On July 1st, the All-Ireland Rally for Life is expecting 50,000 to march in support of the unborn through the streets of Dublin. Organizers are determined to make a large showing owing to the recently elected openly gay prime minister and the liberal media's agenda to push for wider abortion access. The rally also features disabled speakers to showcase that a life with disabilities is worth living. Islamic militants in the Philippines have destroyed a Catholic chapel and desecrated consecrated hosts. The town of Malagakit in southern Philippines was stormed by 300 Islamic forces on June 21st who invaded a church and smashed religious icons. The Cardinal of Cotabato condemned the attack as a, quote, wicked desecration and urged the faithful to pray for peace. The Philippines has been under martial law since May when parts of the country came under siege by Islamic forces. The parents of a gravely ill 10-month-old boy in the UK have lost their final appeal to save their son's life. Charlie Gard has a rare genetic disease and requires a ventilator to breathe. His parents have been fighting a British hospital in court over Charlie's treatment while the hospital wants to take the baby off life support. After a UK court sided with the hospital, the parents appealed to the European Court of Human Rights, which ruled yesterday that Charlie has no chance of surviving. Charlie's life support will likely be shut off within the next few days. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about Martin Luther and Bishop Barron. And check out The Download, where the panel discusses an African cardinal feared by his critics. God bless you.